Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have received well wishes in the double figures from people presumably living in small communes trying to scratch out a meagre living in the scorched earth of post-contagion Britain. Whether you're living in a steel-gated enclave in the New Forest, or you're hiding behind a burned-out car in a lay-by on the M6 toll from a man with a gas mask and a crossbow, we here in the empty city thank you. I want to promise you that this isn't going anywhere. We aren't going anywhere, although our bins have. Turns out, they were serious. They were serious. They have not just stolen our bins, they've stolen next door's bins as well. We've had to start eating our own rubbish to survive. Dinner for the last two days has been old newspapers, and although Snow Queen has prepared them masterfully, it's still been a struggle trying to get the proper nutrients. Least we can say is they taste good. Snow Queen likes the property property pages. Very good. Bessie here much prefers the more delicately balanced flavours of the art section. What have you got today? Hmm, Glinderborn Opera doing La Traviata. Wonderful treat for any occasion. I myself like the texture of the sports pages, if not the flavour, but we have to keep throwing away the opinion pieces. They're just not good. And as for the Financial Times, we can't keep it. It is like steak tartare. Now, we ask you at number 11, we know you're watching, return our bins. You don't know the depths to which Snow Queen will sink to protect this house she calls a home. What she did to the Jehovah's Witness that turned up on the doorstep last October cannot be called human. Do you think she's going to offer you the same mercy? No. You are but a single bead in the thread of lives we hold together. Release our bins there will not be trouble. There will not be a second warning. Today's poem is called The Fly, No Not The Jeff Goldblum One, The One That I Wrote. I lie still, plagued by thoughts of death and soup. A fly buzzes and small pentagons round my head, perhaps lost, perhaps trying to get out of the window, perhaps landing on my tea mug and treading feces all over the handle. I stop. Caffeine flux and sleep deprivation have been, but now the fly has my attention. Don't even trip, son. The fly's voice seems to echo. We can always get a coffee at my place. Thank you. The blessings of Bob and this house be upon you. Return our bins.